Hello, Brandon with Electrical Specialist. It is now April. It's been a while since I made a video, so it's time. Um, lost my apprentice. I knew it was going to happen. I've been told it was going to happen, but I guess I didn't think it'd happen that soon. Uh, he, I just get him his raise for thirty for nine ninety days, three months. We did the evaluation. He actually was very receptive of the evaluation, uh, as I hoped, and uh, knew his faults, knew his his uh, strengths. Um, gave him a raise, and then he got a, a call from the pipeline, and he left for the pipeline. That's where he came from. So there he shall return. Um, I don't blame him. Good money, more money than I can ever make him. Um, he even told me he wouldn't come back, and they threw money at him until he did. So good for him. Go Dalton. Kick some ass, pipeline. Um, hope it works out for you. And let's see. So thumbtack. Um, I'm on thumbtack. I kind of gave up spending a lot of time on it because I could tell right away it's not as refined as Home Advisor. Uh, I I bitched a lot about Home Advisor, but man, they are just so much better equipped to get you leads on a timely basis. I mean, no wonder they charge so much more. I mean, a lead from Home Advisor is anywhere from $18 to 120 per lead which sounds absolutely astronomical, I know. <laughs> On the flip side, you've got a thumbtack, and I couldn't believe it, but it's like $1.60, $2 a lead, just absolutely. I put $100 in over a month ago, and I spent maybe six bucks. Um, but I've got two jobs out of it. I've got three leads, two jobs. So landing percentage, great, um, but the overall it's just not there not for me not for this industry not in my location it may do great for other people in other areas with other organizations but for me it hasn't done well yet maybe it'll pick up uh i suppose i'll put a little more time into it as we go just to keep testing the water when i have free time but um unfortunately home advisor is still where it's at for me and i'm i'm getting two to five clients a week through home advisor so it's, it's so hard to complain about the price when my client list is, I won't say exploding, but it's its doing well. I went from 40 when I started to uh, yesterday, I think it was 110. So uh, my prediction is, you know, it's looking good. I should have 200, you know, by the end of the year, next year. And that's a pretty good list to work on. Uh, so I'm happy about that. I'm doing well there. Um, right before Dalton quit, I made flyers and signs and I was all excited about uh, getting him full time he hadn't been full time yet um, he's probably working three or four days a week he's he had a part-time job at Lowe's um, but he he wanted to quit there and be full time and I wanted him to be full time and I did these 10 percent off flyers uh, to get to know I was gonna go stuff mailboxes Excited! I made. I had a guy make me signs, some yard signs. I only had five made, but uh, and I've got them planted right now. I uh, haven't yet got a call from one, but I, I got high hopes for those two. I, I, I've heard very good things about yard signs and, and really just getting my name out there where people know me. Uh, nobody really knows electrical specialist yet, uh, but they will. It's just going to take time. It's a you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, but it's true. So the flyers are staying at home. Um, I am hiring a guy. I found another guy. He looks very promising. He's more interested in the theory part of things and getting his license. Uh, Dalton was interested in being an electrician, but didn't have the drive to learn the mathematical, theoretical science of electricity, which I get. It's not for everybody. Um, but you got to have a little bit of it to really excel in this trade, and, and that's what I'm hoping to find. That's what I wanted to find all along, and, and uh, this new guy, Josh, looks pretty uh, pretty promising. So we'll see how that goes. He can't start um, till the end of the month, so uh, that's what we're looking at 
for him. Um, I did try the paper. In fact, I tried their best offer. They're doing a who's who of uh, remodeling and, and, you know, what electricians to use, painters to use, lumber guy to use. Um, and I figured if I was ever going to give a shot at the paper, this is it. It's, it's a who's who of, of all the guys. So, 350 bucks for one run. One run. Uh, add about that big bottom of the paper. Um, turns out there's a whole electrical section where they tell you who all the electricians are. But my ad is three pages over in the painting section. So I don't know whose idea that was. But I didn't even know they had um, just like a white pages list of, of each individual contractor. She didn't even offer me that. I'm not on there. Uh, a little ridiculous, but we'll just say 350 bucks. <laughs> I suppose not all of it was wasted. Uh, my, I'm sure somebody saw that, wondered who I was, maybe went to the website. Um, I guess as long as it's out there, it wasn't complete waste, but 350 for not a single call as of yet. Uh, and it's been a month at least, so I'm not too happy about that one. Uh, it's going to be a minute before I try the paper again. Uh, disappointing, but hey, they can't all work. Um, so signpost. I'm being haggled by a lady who works for them. Uh, not in a bad way. She's just excited to get me on. Um, you guys know about SEO. Uh, if you're on Google, which I am, but you can't find me. The reason you can't find me is because I don't pay for SEO. Uh, SEO is pretty much you pay a guy to finagle your website and your face pretty much anything that has to do with your website or Google um, they know the algorithm that Google wants to see to move up uh, to be one of the top five top ten uh, in the list of your you know your occupation um, so you can either pay someone to, to kind of mess with your website and change pictures around and make it look like it's constantly being updated and looked at clicking on it or you can do it organically which means you do it yourself. You go to your website, you change things around, you put promotions on your website, um, you get Google leads, you get people to come to Google instead of your website or Home Advisor or Thumbtack. You want Google reviews. That's what you want. I, that's the holy grail, apparently. Um, and I knew that coming in. I just thought things were going smooth enough. Um, that it would come naturally. Uh, I paid a guy to get me on Google. I do have a Google page, but I don't have, you know, the drop down list when you're looking at Google. Um, there's like 10 or 15 people on there. I guess they call them knowledge cars, the little white where the map is and everything. To get on there, you have to apply for it. They send you a postcard. It's kind of a long, drawn out process, uh, but so far it's free. I haven't done AdWords or anything. Um, so I'm trying to get on there without hiring SEO. I want to hire Signpost to do it organically because what Signpost does is they take your list of clients and they, they try to get work from your existing clients. It's easier to get work from them, the new ones I understand. Uh, so they send out emails, ask for reviews. They let you do campaigns where, you know, this much off for this for this month. Uh, and you can plan it out for the whole year. So it's pretty cool. But I think you have to have a nice list of clients. Uh, logic to me states that without a client list, who are they going to go after? Who are they going to market to? Um, so now that I've got 110, I'd feel comfortable at 150 if I have the money for signpost, which is 250 a month. I have, I, I, I feel like it's worth it. I've read reviews from other people. There's another guy in Kansas with a uh, landscaping landscaping business called Grass Monkey. Um, He's very happy with it, and it's it's getting him more work. Uh, he says it's very very well worth it. So I'm interested to look into that, um, and I'll probably just do it when I have the money for it. Uh, I'll try it. Um, so there's my marketing um, taxes. So I was told my tax guy to put away 30% of all profits after parts and material, right? So. I figured I'd do one better and I just put away 
while I'm small and have not much overhead, at least it didn't seem like it, I'm gonna put away 30% of every penny I make. So in theory, I should have a pretty chunk of, good chunk of change left over after taxes. Um, and I had been warned by my financial advisor that the money I took out of my 401k is gonna bite me. Uh, I gotta pay 10% penalty for drawing it early. Obviously I needed to start the company with something, so I drew out like 23,000 out of 401k. 10% penalty for early withdrawal. And then what I didn't realize is, like I just mentioned earlier, you have to do 30% of all profit. Will they consider the 23,000 that I took out profit? So they want 30% of that plus the 10% is 40% plus fees. You're looking at 45% of everything I took out. So that, so I owe them with my um, taxable profits and that combined, I owe them over 10,000. Um, and then I owe the state about 2,000. So I, I was guessing 5,000. Um, I guess I, I, I biffed it on this one, but you know what? At least I put away enough money that I'm, I'm going to be able to make a few payments and get it paid off. 2018 should be much better for that. I, I, won't have to take out any money in 2018, and that's going to be the name of the game. Um, I'm still going to pay myself the same thing weekly. I'm just going to hopefully at the end of the year be able to give myself a nice bonus and make it all worth it. Um, Josh starts in a couple weeks. Excited about that. I want to get him trained up quick. Uh, I want to get back to where I'm banging out estimates and just getting jobs done, being able to leave him somewhere while I go do more. Uh, that's what has to happen for this to work. So. Um, thanks for listening and I'll get back to you later. Bye.